All right, ladies and gentlemen, in this segment, we usually do Give Me Five. So a little variation of Give Me Five today. It's Frank Sinatra's 100th birthday. And where they celebrate that the greatest is the place where Frank Sinatra would call the greatest. He would hang out at Patsy's Italian Restaurant on 50, 58th Street between 8th and 56, 56th Street. I always get it wrong by one street. Uh, I think, is it before 57 or after? Uh, and uh, Sal Scognamillo, the uh, chef, the owner, the family owns the restaurant at Patsy's, joins us. Hey, Sal, how are you? Hey, Steve, it's great to be with you. What a, what a wonder. I'd also point out that the noise in the background is not only the bustle of, uh, of, of Patsy's on a normal day, you're, you're doing a whole birthday weekend for Frank Sinatra. Talk about what his relationship was to the restaurant. What, what a great man. What a great man he was. And, and, and he met my grandfather. My grandfather was Pasquale, and his nickname was Patsy. That's where Patsy's Italian Restaurant comes from. He met my grandfather in 1942, two years before we came. We, we were here in 1944. And he met my grandfather, a man named Tommy Dorsey, brought Frank Sinatra to my <laughs> grandfather and said, Hey, Patsy, I, want you, I got this skinny kid from Hoboken. I want you to fatten him up for me. And what a great relationship throughout the years. We, we, that, that, that ex, that's extended over 50 years, and five generations of Sinatras have eaten here. And Nancy Sinatra said it best. She said the, 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 the family legacy of the Scognamillo family is in the food, and the Sinatra families is in the music. Give us, give, by the way, uh, you should check out, folks, we're going to put on screen uh, right now, uh, Patsy's Italian Family Cookbook which includes so many wonderful dishes. And so let, let me put that up on the screen and ask you, uh, what was Frank's, uh, some of Frank's favorite dishes? You know, and that's what we're serving all weekend here. We're doing uh, parties Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, all for lunch, celebrating his birthday. And uh, his favorite dish he liked is veal milanese. It's a scallopini of veal, very thin, flour egg, seasoned breadcrumb, fried till it was crisp, sausages, San Gennaro style, the meatballs with the tomato sauce, Fusilli pasta, which is a short corkscrew pasta with the filetto di pomodoro. That's onions, tomato, and prosciutto sauce. And uh, he, he was just, I mean, he would eat most, you know, most everything. The one thing we, we stayed a little away from was the garlic. He liked the uh, whole garlic. <laughs> we saute the garlic in the olive oil and take it out. But what if parents himself, his children, his grandchildren, and now his great-granddaughter. That it's is just amazing. amazing. That, that really is amazing. Any, any, any uh, uh, else that you want to share with us? Well, there's, there's so many that, that people, uh, he's been so good to us throughout the years, and, and his legacy will live on forever. And one of my favorites, is, and seems to be everyone's favorite, is before I was born in the early 1950s, uh, we always close in here on Thanksgiving. To this day, we're not open on Thanksgiving at Patsy's Italian Restaurant. And it was in the early 50s, and people may not remember, Frank Sinatra was down and out. He had lost his record contract. He'd lost his voice. He had lost Ava Gardner. And no one wanted to be his friend. Everyone thought he was right. washed up and finished. And it was the day before Thanksgiving. He said to my grandfather, he says, hey, Patsy, I want to come in tomorrow. Book me a table for one. We're closed on Thanksgiving. My grandfather did not have the heart to tell him we were closed, and he, made, he opened especially that for is, him. That is a great story. Uh, hey, he, Sal, God bless you. Thanks for coming on. Always appreciate it. Enjoy the party. Thank you so much, and Chantani, happy, happy hundred, Frank. Yes, take care. Sal Scognamillo, ladies and gentlemen. And if you're in New York, Patsy's uh, on 56th is a great place. Frank Sinatra did it his way. Watch. For what is a man? What has he got? If not himself, then he has not to say the thing.